MDX Portal Dashboard, Mac, Module 7a. Welcome to the seventh in a series of educational videos for the Medicare Administrative Contractor, or MAC, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, data exchange portal known as the MDX Portal. I am Emily Normant with the Medicare Contractor Management Group and member of the MDX Portal team. Now that you've watched how to access the submitted data in Submission Explorer, the next step is to understand how to use the submitted data via the dashboards. <laughs> Once I am logged into the MDX portal, I will select the MDX Dashboard and Reports option, and the Shared Reports page is displayed. On this page, I have the option to go to the Dashboard, Summary Reports, or MSRE Reports. I will go ahead and select the Dashboard folder and select it again. It's important to note that you will only have access to MSRE data for the jurisdictions to which you belong. The dashboard is divided into two panels. The top is a monthly workload overview, and the lower panel provides performance details. Now let's take a closer look at each panel. Please note the data shown here is not real. Monthly workload overview provides a basic summary of workload trends over time. For your jurisdiction, select Part A or Part B and the functional area key performance indicator that you want to view. So in this example, for Jurisdiction X, Part A and Claims are selected. The workload overview displays three microcharts for bills processed, bills received, and bills pending, as well as the basic summaries for the last 12 months, current month, monthly average, year-to-date total, and relative standard deviation. This allows you to view and compare monthly workload statistics. Moving to the bottom panel, there are three tabs, Performance Overview, Measures Met and Not Met, and MSRE Reports. Let's take a look at Performance Overview for Jurisdiction X. Based on the selected metrics, you will see metric values over time in comparison to the national average. In this example, bills processed for Jurisdiction X you will see bills received and bills pending in the cylinders, and the percent of bills processed are calculated each month. Now let's take a look into measures met and not met. Based on your jurisdiction, you can see the timeliness overview of business functions for measures met and not met and timeliness details. In this example for Jurisdiction X, you can view the metrics for a specific business function. Timeliness Overview summarizes how many measures are met and not met in each functional area for the selected month. In Timeliness Detail, every measure in that functional area is displayed over time, red indicating measures not met. The dashboard also provides you with an avenue to run reports. By selecting MSRA Reports, you will see a list of the reports available to you. Select the desired report and complete the prompts to run. We will cover reports in more detail in Module 8, Reports. On behalf of the MDX Portal team, thanks for watching MDX Portal How to Use the Dashboard, and I will see you next in Module 8, MDX Portal Reports.